Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. So today we are hiking the Plain of Six Glaciers Trail here at Lake Louise. We just made our first stop here at the lake. This is my Auntie Sandy. Hey. Hi folks, I'm looking forward to this big trip up the mountain here. Yes, we're looking forward to the chocolate cake. <laughs> Absolutely. So we'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, sorry I ran into technical difficulties with my mic during this clip, but we basically are updating you guys on the trail and we made it to the back of Lake Louise. This is one of the prettiest parts of the lake in my personal opinion because you can see the chalet from here and the water was so calm. The trail just started to get more rugged at this point. It starts to get steeper from here. So we made it. We made it to the tea house. What do you think? Pretty awesome. I suggest everybody do this one time in their life. Yeah, it was it was a really, really beautiful hike up here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah, the tea was great and so was the cake. We highly recommend the coffee cake. Coffee <laughs> it was really cake good. is awesome. Yeah. So we're about to head back down. We might stop at Moraine Lake on the way down and we'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye everybody. Wow.
block the pain that I once let kill my vibe. I fear the day that I lose the chance to fight. So I stand up tall, ready to face it all again. And I will not fall, I won't lose again. for the Plain of Six Glaciers Tea House. So I've done this hike multiple times. The first time I did this as a loop, so it was a crazy day. It was like over 20K. We did the Plain of Six Glaciers Tea House as well as Big Beehive at Devil's Thumb in one day. That was a lot. And then I did it again the year after and that was just the Plain of Six Glaciers Big Beehive loop. This time around, I just did the Plain of Six Glaciers because my aunt was here from BC and I wanted to take her there. She really wanted to see one of the tea houses and this one was my favorite out of, you know, this one and Lake Agnes. Plain of Six is my absolute favorite. You get glacier views and the tea house is overall just like really cool looking. It looks better than the Lake Agnes one. So I'll give you the stats if you just do the tea house. This one is 12.8K with a 426 meter elevation gain. I would classify this one as easy moderate. If you are athletic, it's gonna be quite an easy trail for you. If you don't really hike very much and you know, this is your first hike in years or that sort of thing, I would say this is more of a moderate hike. But this is just a really beautiful trail. This trail was so busy the day that we went and we went on a, like an off day. It was the middle of the week. I believe it was a Tuesday and the trail was absolutely packed. Now, I always expect the beginning of the trail to be packed near the lake because that's where everyone goes to take photos and stuff like that. There was quite a few people going up to the tea house that day. There was a lot of tourists and I mean, good for them. They came all the way here, might as well leave the lake shore and go do one of the hikes because there are so many beautiful hikes in Lake Louise that a lot of people don't fully take advantage of, I feel like. If you do plan to go to the tea house, be prepared for, you know, somewhat of a moderate slash long day and wear comfortable shoes, that's all I can say. Bring bear spray and bring plenty of water, especially if you're planning to do this in the summer months. September is a really, really good time to go to the tea house. I think it's like the perfect weather. It's not too hot, not too cold. And overall, it's a very straightforward trail. It's in a national park, so it's very well marked and the trail is very well defined the whole entire way. You'll find others doing the trail as well. So it's a very highly trafficked trail. It's not just gonna be you on the trail to find your way there. There is so much to see beyond the lake. Basically, if you go to the back of Lake Louise and just follow, there is a river that runs through from the glacier into Lake Louise. If you just follow the river, follow the trail on up, you do gain some elevation with this hike and you just climb on up. But my personal favorite part of this trail is there is kind of this ledge. The trail gets really narrow. There's a rock face kind of right beside you and then the valley below. I don't know, I love this part. I love to take photos there. But if you are scared of heights, be mindful of this part of the hike, but it's my absolute favorite. And then that's when you start to kind of see the glacier in front of you and then it's just a short ways to the tea house so if you are planning to buy anything at the tea house make sure you do have cash with you their cinnamon cake is absolutely amazing that's what i had that day and i loved it i love their cinnamon cake so that is all for today's video i do hope you guys check out the tea house for yourself either just by itself like i did on this trip or if you do make it a loop or if you continue along the trail for a bit you can do that as well to get to a viewpoint of the glaciers but yeah, choose your own adventure and be safe out there. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys soon with a new video. 
Bye.